Good morning, children. Today I'll be taking for the fourth standard English uh, lesson number five. That is uh, the wise king of Mewar. Um, the wise king of. I'll just read out the lesson to you. I'll explain the words. The uh, you know the words that you are not aware of. I'll explain the words to you, and then after that, we are, children who have the fourth standard textbook can go to page number forty-one and the. Words meaning will be there. I want you all to write the words meaning in your classwork note. Fine, of the same lesson. Now I'll just read the lesson out to you. It goes like this: Ranjit Singh was the king of Mewar. He was brave as a lion and he was very kind to the poor. So the king of Mewar, what was his name? His name was Ranjit Singh. He was a very kind person. He was a very kind person to the poor people. One day he was strolling in his royal garden. His minister and some attendants were with him. Blowing breeze and singing birds made him happy. So while he was strolling in the garden, he was enjoying nature, and his attendant and his ministers were along with him. After that, uh, the king was enjoying his walk in the garden, and suddenly, all of a sudden, a stone struck his forehead. Everybody was stunned. Some of the servants hurried in search of those who had thrown the stone. So while he was walking, enjoying the birds, enjoying the nature in the in his garden, suddenly a stone came and struck his forehead. Your forehead means this part. A stone came and struck him here, and everybody got uh, stunned. Means they they became surprised. Like from where? How can a stone just come flying in the royal garden and hit the king? You know, so they were all all the, the attendants and the minister were surprised. Some of the servants hurried in search to see who threw the stone. So the servants went around the uh, garden looking for how did the stone come and hit the king's head. So they went to see who had thrown the stone. Some men went to call the doctors, but the king was calm. He pressed the wound with his palm and tried to control the bleeding. So some men uh, all scattered. Some went to look who threw the stone. Some went to call the doctor. Uh, but the king was at peace. He was very quiet and calm. He he was not afraid of anything. So what he did is he took his palm. This is called your palm, children. The palm. He took the palm and he placed it on his forehead, trying to stall the bleeding, trying to control the bleeding. Then came an old man who looked very nervous. He tore the cloth off his shoulder and tied it around the king's forehead. Then suddenly the king sees one old man is coming inside the garden. He is looking very nervous. So what he did? He had a cloth on his shoulder. He tore it and he went to tie it on the wound that had caused by the stone, which had hit the king's forehead. So this old man went to tie the king's wound. He then fell at the feet of the king and said, weeping, "O king, it is me who is responsible for hurting you." I beg your pardon. I did not do it on purpose. I am ready to undergo any kind of punishment. So, what does the uh, old man says? He falls at the king's feet and he says, "Forgive me, forgive me. I beg your pardon because I did not do this on purpose. I am ready to undergo any kind of punishment." So he knows this is the king. He can even tell uh, the uh, soldiers to catch him and put him somewhere, and also he quickly. He, because his the stone that he had thrown hurt the king, so quickly he falls at the king's feet and he says, "Forgive me, don't do anything to me. I do not mean to hurt you. I am ready to undergo any punishment that you uh, give out to me." Why did you pelt the stone then? Asked the minister angrily. So the minister was very angry. He asked, he will ask the old man, "Why did you throw that stone?" The old man knelt before the king, folded his palms, and said, "Maharaja." I was tired and hungry. I wanted to have a mango and pelted the stone at the mango tree. So the old man knelt down before the king and he said, "See, uh, Maharaja, I was very hungry. I was. Uh, I just saw this mango tree. So I wanted to have a mango from it. So that's why I threw the stone." The king bent at him, caught hold of his shoulders, and lifted him up. The king wiped off the tears of the old man with his shawl. Then smiling at him, said, "Don't weep. What you have done is not a crime to be punished." So, what the king was a kind person. He was very kind to poor people. So he bent down. He picked up the old man, and he wiped off his tears with his shawl. And he said, "Don't cry. You have not done any crime." 
so don't uh, cry because I won't punish you for that. He then ordered his cook to offer the hungry old man some food immediately. The old man, receiving the food, bowed to the king and went his way. Then he offered some food to the old man. He, he, he commanded his cook, go and bring some food for the old man. The, then the old man ate little bit of food and he was very happy that his stomach was full. So he bowed to the king and then he went away. The king said to his minister, don't get angry about such petty incidents. Petty means small incidents which don't matter. A tree bears a stroke and gives fruits, stands in the sun and gives us shade. I being a man, if I never give food to a hungry man, shall be smaller than a tree. So what, is, what does the king explain to the minister? You should not be angry over such small incidents. The tree gives us, the tree give, takes the stone. When anybody throws a stone at the tree, the tree gets hurt. But still it gives us fruits. It doesn't complain. And then it stands in the sun whole day long and it gives us shade without any complaints. So in the same manner, we should not be uh, very aggressive to any hungry or a poor man. We should be, we won't become smaller than a tree. The minister was ashamed and learned a lesson. Service to mankind is service to God. So the minister, when he, uh, after the king said this, the minister uh, felt very bad because he, wa he was talking very rudely to the uh, old man so the minister learnt a lesson that if you if you give something to mankind always it's like doing something for God so service to mankind is service to God so in this manner the wise king of Mewar it's me the uh, story the wise king means he never got angry over a sp uh, small incident because Though he had got hurt with that stone, he never punished the old man who threw that stone. So that's why he is known as the wise king of Mewar. So children, after the lesson, when we come to the words meaning, uh, the words meaning on page number 41, uh, I, the children who have the textbooks can always refer from the textbooks and write. Uh, I, otherwise, I will be even sending you the picture of this of these uh, pages to you with the uh, exercises solved fully and even the question answers will be given in the same thing and uh, you all can start writing down in your classwork notes the day the, uh, the video is uploaded the, you can start writing these uh, uh, English notes in your classwork note so uh, the words I'll just read out the words and the meanings but you, those who have the textbook can easily refer it from that okay Strolling. Strolling means children walking in a slow and a relaxed way. When you go for a walk in the morning, you don't, uh, you know, you don't walk fast. You walk slowly, you enjoy nature, you enjoy the birds, you enjoy the greenery. So when you walk in a park, you walk stroll in a slow and a relaxed way. So st strolling means walking in a slow and a relaxed way. Then royal. Royal means something belonging to a king or queen. Any uh, any uh, thing that belongs like the king's palace it's always royal the queen's clothes the jewels that's always royal so anything belonging to the king or queen is called royal attendant a person whose job is to help or look after others so kings will always kings and queens will always have attendants behind them they look after each and every need of the king and queen so those people who look after the every need of some someone is called an attendant next is hurried to do something or go somewhere more quickly than usual so to do something or go somewhere more quickly than usual to go in a fast manner you can you walk fast you do some things in a fast manner calm relaxed and quiet Calm means you have no tension, you have no worries, you are quite relaxed. Palm, the inside surface of your hand in which you hold things. I told you this is called your palm children. This is the palm. This is the inside surface of your hand where you hold things. Nervous, nervous means worried or frightened. Worried or frightened about something. Then pardon, to let someone free without being punished. Uh, pardon means you don't punish a person, you just leave, let him go. Means you, whatever he's done is forgiven. Pelt. Pelt means to throw things at someone or something. 
when you pelt a stone it is mainly it is used with the word stone so you throw a stone it's called pelting a stone stroke stroke means a hit or a blow somebody slaps you or somebody beats you so you got a very good stroke it means you they beat you or they hit you so that's called a stroke incident an event that is important or unusual incident happens means a certain activity or a certain thing that takes place in the school that becomes an incident of the school next is ashamed feeling uncomfortable because of something you have done so when you feel when you tell lies when you do uh, when you rob somebody else's pencil rubber eraser you feel ashamed of yourself so in that context you feel uncomfortable because of something you have done you feel guilty for your sins so children these words meaning please write in your classwork note i will send you the pictures along with this video of all the exercises those who don't have book can always refer to this and uh, take a picture click a picture send the work done in your classwork note send it back to me and i will check and get back to you with that fine children this is the only thing that you have to do write the words meaning on the textbook on page number 41 write it in your classwork note question answers i will take a picture and uh, send it back to is uh, i'll send it to you then you can just do the work in your classwork note and send it back to me fine children thank you